Hey, what's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today we're gonna to be building the New York Central 20th Century Limited. So this is a streamlined uh, steam locomotive, and it's actually the Dreyfus Hudson. So this is commissioned by Thomas Van 2926, who is here for this video, and um, yeah, I already did a tutorial on the coaches first, so you guys can watch that already. So if you wanna look at the consoles for the train, you could just check out my other video of the coaches and that'll include that. So anyways, without further ado, let's build the Dreyfus. So first thing we do, we take Cyan Terracotta, add our leading meals right here, and another brick slab, two of them, and then another pair of Terracotta. Then we're gonna take stone buttons, add it to the sides of it. Then we're gonna make the huge driving meal, so that's gonna be a three by three so make a cross shape first so do it like that have a block in between and do another one so let me try to get this right so basically it's just like three plus signs like that do the other side and then later we're gonna have uh, the corners for this, so don't worry, it's not the final result. Let me just go across to make this easier. I mean, you don't really have to build this in a particular way. We just need uh, six of these plus signs. So then let's take uh, quartz stairs, add it in the bottom corners and the top corners, like that all around. go in like that and I guess he's gonna watch for at least most of the video <laughs> he's in the background still but this is not even it's, it's like his fourth commission I don't remember what number this is but he did commission at least more than two builds maybe four that's what I'm thinking all right so once we're done with the driving wheels we can add in um, the front area so we're gonna take stone brick stairs and have it upside down facing the back like that and we're gonna have three of them so let me try to do that right now and on top we're gonna have uh, stone in the middle with stone brick stairs alongside it and then uh, a two by three of stone a little wall right there and then a stone brick slab just make a double right here on the side and that's gonna lead up to this ladder so we're gonna take stairs place that on the very top and we're gonna go make it diagonal so try to place this probably not the best way to do it but I'm just gonna do it anyways because we don't got time all right now we're going to replace this middle block with lapizuli to make uh, this little sign. And we're going to place the actual Minecraft sign in the front of that. So if you want, you can place some text. Um, then let's work on this part. So let's take gray concrete and extend it. I don't know how long this is. Let me just extend it to uh, the last wheel. So just fill in this middle area like that to the last wheel. Let me actually go one block past it. And the next one, let's go add some more gray concrete right on top of that layer, like so. Now we're gonna take a stone brick stairs, add one on the very top of this and curved at the sides. Then we're gonna take um, stone block add one in the middle and we're gonna make like this plus sign that's gonna be the front of the boiler add one in the middle for our little lamp which is an item frame if we can get this with a white stained glass block inside it. actually not a glass block is a pain and also this thing has like a little mohawk so let's add light gray I think it's light gray paint so just add one on the top and the bottom of this light. 
and then go diagonally up, add two of them right here with another brick slab after it. Now we're going to make the rest of the boiler. So we're going to take stone and extend it so that this is 20 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now we're going to do uh, the rest of it all the way across. It's got to take us a while, but we'll get there. And we, that's not even considering the bottom area. I don't know what's going on there, but we'll figure that out. So for this top area, we're going to take uh, stone brick stairs, make it face the front these ones and also the bottom as well and then the ones on top we'd have it facing outwards like that so just go across making it a bit more thicker and rounder and actually these two last ones we're gonna make it uh, just stone apparently cuz that's just how it is that's why I notice like it gets bigger as it goes towards the cab All right, so next let's take a stone brick slab and add it right here in the middle all the way across until we reach the end of it. So once we reach the end, we're gonna extend that by one. All right, cool. So now um, let's add a little bit over here. I think it's just yeah, it's just stone brick slab, so that's going to be four blocks long. So let me go down a slab and uh, extend it by four. So one, two, three, four. And just do the same thing over here. So it's like three blocks wide. And add stone in the middle right there. I guess we're just extending that. Uh, middle area and then this part's going to be where we start the curvature of the roof so we're going to take another brick I mean not another brick stone brick stairs and just extend that all the way and then the other side okay so then I'm going to add like this U shape right there so let me take stone try to make this U shape there will be like a little overhang and do the other side same thing with the U shape and then we're going to take uh, black stained glass paint fill in the cab windows with it you can also uh, add this wall right here with stone because we don't really need that unless you're going to make like an interior which I didn't uh, this part right here I think you can make that stone as well make it blended in and we're to take a uh, white concrete, add it two blocks like that. Right, align with the windows on top. How are we gonna do this? So um, probably in the middle area that's made of stone as well. So let's go to the middle and add stone in there. Right above where the wheels are. So just go across. all the way let's go all the way to the back like that see where the cab ends uh, so this area is actually a little bit different so let me take gray concrete um, oh wait it is the same good so I don't have to replace anything so gray concrete in the back three blocks wide um, then five blocks long I guess so one two three four five and then we're gonna take stone and just fill in this wall I mean the floor right underneath like so then we're gonna take um, let's take stone slab and add the side rod so let's go over here to our first wheel place a double stone slab two of them 
And then we're extended to the middle of the last wheel. Same. So then we're going to take gray concrete, add it above this nether brick slab. Let me extend that like that so it pops out a little bit. Then we're going to take nether brick slab, add one in the front on top, and another brick stairs facing backwards right behind it. And we're going to have that on the other side as well. So let's just copy doing the same thing. So it should look like that. Then we're going to take out stone and extend this area, the bottom portion of the boiler, all the way back to where the cab is, like so. Then this side, same thing. So then we're going to take stone, just add two right behind that um, stone brick stairs, like that. And then we're going to take a stone brick slab and add this section to reach uh, the first part of the middle white wheel. So let me do that right now. See it lines up. Same thing on this side. And then we're going to take stone and just continue it all the way back uh, to the end. So just fill in that entire area. And then we can also extend that right there right afterwards. Same thing on the other side. And then we can add uh, these little details with the iron bars. So just add two of them right on top of the stairs in the front. So that railing is going to connect up here to these stone buttons. So let me take a stone button, just add it diagonally to this iron bar and just put it like every other block like so. And then we can add in a window banner which we'll do in the next step so just make sure you're doing this on both sides. Uh, it is pretty hard to see where the buttons are so it kind of camouflages with everything so that is very hard. If you had bad eyesight, you would not even see anything. So on this side, you can, but the other side's flat. So we're going to make this window banner to make it. Black banner. Uh, place it in the middle with a light gray dye border around it. Then we're going to take that banner, add a, a row on the bottom with the light gray dye. And that's how you get our uh, window banner. I'm going to have that in the front of the cab like so. And next, let's add uh, this side rod. So to make it, we're to take stone slab, add two doubles uh, right here in the front. And then we're going to extend the bottom layer to the middle of the last white wheel. Same thing on this side. And then take a stone, stone brick slab, add one right here, and then an iron trap door, and then another stone brick slab. Same thing on the other side. And next, we're going to take stone brick stairs, and we're going to have three of them. So two of them facing the back, and then one facing the front. So it looks like that. So two facing the back, one facing the front. Great. And now we'll have like these two more double stone slabs right here in the middle wheel. All right, so yeah, I think that's it for uh, the side rods. Now we can add in uh, some more of these <laughs> wheels. So I think these are called traction wheels. I'm not quite sure. But we're going to build it anyways. Just skip two blocks away from the huge wheels and add a hopper. And then there'll be another brick slab. Like that. You can add it in between if you want. And another brick slabs on the very tops of it. Just on the sides. The middle, we can leave that alone. And next, we're going to have a slightly bigger wheel. So we're going to take 
two of these back to back stone brick stairs. Like so. And then another brick slab, just add two. At the bottom. <laughs> I mean, uh, behind it and fill in the space in between. Alright, so then we're going to take gray concrete, add it right above this middle wheel. Well, the giant wheel. And the middle of everything. So just fill in that whole entire area. So it all connects like that. And next, uh, let's take another brick slab, add a row right here, fill that bit in with gray, and two in the middle, so one, actually, one and two, so that's like sort of like a coupling to uh, the tender, so we're going to take cobblestone wall, add it alongside it, like, <laughs> like this. I can't talk right now. My mouth is so dry, so... <clears throat> kind of hurts actually, but next we're gonna take uh, stone brick stairs and add it behind the last big wheel like that, and then four stone blocks. So one, two, three, four, and then stone brick slabs. Three, one, two, three. Same thing on the other side. So after the giant big wheel, we're gonna add. Stone brick stairs, and how much did I say? Four. Four stone blocks. And then four stone brick slabs. And then last, we're gonna add stone brick stairs like this. Cool. So then we're gonna take stone brick slabs and add a two by three right here. At the bottom, uh, just extend that right here by one, and then the next one is a double stone brick slab. And the very top, we're going to make it a bit wider, just add one to each side. And the sides of that is a stone brick stairs upside down. This is going to be the step to get up with a stone brick slab at the bottom. Like so. And now we're going to start working on the tender so I don't know if the locomotive's done or not maybe we'll get back to it but let's start with this so take our stone block at yeah, three blocks wide right here actually we're gonna make it two by three and uh, this top section we're gonna make it five blocks wide and it should be 18 blocks long so one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Same thing on the other side. And then we're take a uh, gray concrete, add four blocks. One, two, three, four. Uh, the other side, same thing. Then in the front, we're gonna add five blocks. So. One, two, three, four, five. Same thing on the other side. So for our next layer, we're going to take uh, stone. Just go across once again. Like so. And then uh, there will be this writing on the side. So let's take uh, white concrete, add two, skip a block, two, skip a block, and three. The other side, we're just going to reverse the order. So you can see it just kind of like flipped around like so. And the middle, fill that in as well. Make it like all this one stripe. All right, so for the back, let's make... Um, stone brick stairs on the very bottom of this and actually you know what let me just go across the entire uh, bottom sides of this stone brick stairs same thing on the other side then we're going to take stone brick slab add three blocks across like that 
and the middle one a double like so. Then we're going to take another brick slab, add one right here, stick it out. So that's the coupling and some Minecraft signs like that on the sides. You also do want a place to um, hold on to. So these are some handlebars with the iron bars at the very back. And there also is one for this top tender. So just add it right here. It's going to be four blocks tall. All right, so then we're to go to um, the back of this, so where the white concrete ends. Let's take stone and just add another layer on top. Same thing on the other side. You can also add the flooring right here. Ah, since it is hollow, just fill that in. Gotta take us a while. Alright, so once we do that, we can take um, stone, go in a block like that, and add a row on the bottom. And then we're gonna take gray concrete, add two blocks here on the left side, and then white concrete. Then we'd take Minecraft ladder, add two to the right side. And then stone at the sides of it. And for our next block, what are we gonna do? Just go in a block and try to add a stone. So I guess you could just fill in like that. So next, um, let's take stone brick stairs. Add four to the each side, so like that. Same thing over here, and I just accidentally deleted that. And then we're going to take stone, add a U shape right here. So that's going to be like where uh, you get up to the top of the tender from this ladder. It's <laughs> like a hole. And then there will be like this T shape with the stone brick slabs. And add stone on the sides of it. Then we're going to make a 2 by 3 of stone. And then we're going to go uh, to the front of this tender and try to finish up that area. Uh, so take uh, gray concrete, go in a block, and then stone on top. And on top of that is stone brick stairs facing inwards. I'm trying to keep like all the coal inside. Uh, then there will be a coal block at the bottom. I'm gonna go in a block like this. Uh, stone on top of that. And on top of that is, uh, it looks like stone, stone brick slab. So just add a row of three across. And behind that is coal. So let me add the coal. Then we're gonna take a uh, stone brick slab add it to the first edge and then we're going to skip that row add three uh, stone blocks in the middle and then actually you know what I think it's all stone brick slab so let's just go across the whole entire layer with it <clears throat> all the way over here and it is streamlined so the coal doesn't like fly everywhere so it's more aerodynamic. We can also add uh, a row of this stone brick slabs alongside the middle. The middle is going to be like this little slit of coal, which is, I think, pretty cool. And mostly you see in steam engines, they're like these really wide containers. But this one's like this little tiny one. But you can open it if you want to, I think. At least that's what a model did. So then we'd go over here and make the wheels for the tender. So skip one block away from the stairs. Add hopper, skip a block, hopper, skip a block, another hopper so that we have three pairs of these. And add stone brick, or rather nether brick slabs in between them. Go to the back, and then this time we're to skip two away from the edge. And start our hopper thing again. So hopper. 
I'm just making sure I'm doing this right. And then nether brick slab. And no, I'm not doing it right. I just made a hole in the tender so that there's going to be leaking coal. So now we have all of them and take care. I don't know why this is so hard. Probably my voice is so tired. So tired and dry. So we have our uh, hoppers now. Now we need this little box in the middle. So I eh, just align it with this. Um, it's going to be different on both sides. So let me just go over here. Make it easier and just align it right here. Place our nether brick slab in the middle. That's our little detailing. So for our last step, we're gonna go down here to the, where like the fire box is. Add the gray concrete block in there and stone brick slab like so. So it's like a little triangle. Uh, same thing on the other side, like so. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it on how to build the New York Central uh, 20th Century Limited train. So this is the Dreyfus, I think. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks to ThomasFan2926 for commissioning this build. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future and I will see you guys next time. Bye.